Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, and here's Steve. Not Steve. Mike. Mike. Great. Mike Matzdorf is uh, joining us up from LA today to show us some pretty cool animation techniques in Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, I don't even know exactly what he's doing, but it looks very interesting. So why don't you take it away? Thanks, Mark. Uh, at what uh, I wanted to construct, because I have a great love for animation, is um, a good way to use Final Cut and some of the really cool tools that are out there to make the animation more interesting at a very basic level. I've worked a little bit on uh, some animated feature films, uh, one over at Warner Brothers on the Avid, and what you end up getting from all the storyboard artists who are brilliant uh, are a bunch of JPEGs that you cut together to mm -hmm. sort of cobble together what a scene might look like. Like an animatic, basically? Well, I, but really, really rudimentary. You know, yeah. pe Pencil sketches, they're all done within Photoshop, but they look like pencil sketches. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Instead of delivering layers, so a lot of these sketches will have a lot of detail. They'll have a background and a middle ground, a foreground, and all kinds of uh, parts that could be moved around. But because of the way the Avid works, they're all collapsed down into a JPEG. Mm -hmm. And then the animators then have to draw probably more storyboards to get a point across than they need to if mm -hmm. they could use the flexibility of the layers. Yes. So what I did, um, I'm not much of an artist, but I went ahead and used a program on the iPad called uh, Procreate to make a layered uh, a layered Photoshop file mm -hmm. with um, a scene with a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. And um, so we're going to see. This is your artistry. We're going to see here. Yeah, this is my artistry here. <laughs> it's very detailed, as you can see. And <laughs> each one of these things are uh, are layers. The grass is a layer. The trees are uh, each separate layers. The guy is a layer. All this ground, the mountains, the clouds, the sky, everything is on a separate layer. Okay. And so when I when I uh, when I drew this thing, I just. It, as you can see, I have great skills, and I went ahead and put together all this stuff on different layers. So are we seeing now a screen capture of your drawing process? You know, that's something the program does uh -huh. on its own, which I thought was also really cool. I wish I was a better artist. But um, so I, I built the world, and I built the guy in two different positions, and um, tried to add a little bit of detail, and ended up with this. And now you can see the guy looks like he's an octopus and has mm -hmm. eight limbs, but only has really four. Because and they're, on, they're on different layers? They're on different layers, okay. so we're just seeing everything. So what this would look like in the regular world of animation, better than this, but basically the same, is you start this, and you start the guy, and he moves forward, and then he runs off the screen, and you put sound there, and yeah. footsteps, and maybe a little puff of smoke as he went away. Um, but I, uh, I be, I've recently become a fan of a tool um, called M Behaviors, and I thought, you know, why not add some motion to the grass? And so just a little, you know, there's a breeze blowing. Nice. And let's add a little motion. And now let's go ahead and also do the same thing with the trees. And so it's a different, slightly different type of motion. It's just, just a little bit of movement going on. And then, well, we got clouds in the sky. Let's pull the clouds across. And this is just a transform uh, at the Final Cut Pro level. And then here comes our guy running across. And then a couple of cheap sound effects. Now, did you do that by keyframing to him that. to do that? No, not at all. Um, I, what I did to make him move is basically cut six frames of him in this position, yeah. and then six frames of him in this position, just to sort of mimic uh, the movement. And inside here, I can show you what's going on. So this is a Photoshop file. Uh, PSD with with a bunch of, of layers, and so so just to back up for a minute, yeah. the, the the app and the iPad Procreate yeah. exports a PSD file yeah among and other then, formats okay, and then you import that into Final Cut, and you got you have access to all your layers in Co Final Cut correct okay. correct, and so you might notice in here that there's some layers that are now compound clips, so uh -huh. in inside these compound clips are these M behaviors okay. by Motion VFX, so these all uh, they come in as titles over here in Final Cut. And uh, they give you all sorts of cool options for movements that are animated in a fun way, bouncing in and bouncing out. And, and you uh, just drop them on top of and a clip? You just drop them on top of a clip and stretch them out to length. And so th this grass is just sort of waving in the breeze. Nice. And um, the trees are in a similar fashion. And uh, then our guy, he, um, he's running in. And, and this uh, is another M behavior that's that's scaling him up and moving him well, over. Well, what it is, it's called walk in. And so, oh wow! So if you turn it off, You're tapping the V key, it's uh -huh. just him standing in the middle of the screen. Got it. And I created a, a little movie here with the 
six frames alternating. So he's yes. running. That's on top of another cheaper version of it down there. So when you turn this back on, he's he's running in from a distance, which is kind of nice. cool. And I have I had some in here, which were him like jumping and flipping. And then now when I'm ready to him to leave, if you watch this slowly, what it does is sort of he backs up a left frame or two and then zoom it's off. like this. <laughs> and this is all just the behavior dragged Drag on and adjusted to length, uh -huh. which I think is really cool. And I, I think it's that fast. like for previs, for animation, you could do some really cool it's stuff brilliant. here. It's absolutely and brilliant. that's the way it works. And I just wanted to show you, um, let's see, that's where we are. Let's go back. Not that off. See, now I'm going to need to do What's the keystroke to open that up again? Control Command 1 will open your oh, library's list in the browser. Thank goodness. Um, so these are just a few of the behaviors um, that were. So he runs in really fast. He does a loop to loop, spins around, and then he rushes away. OK. Nice. Nice. And uh, then another one comes bouncing in. I like that one's a lot of fun. Uh, another different kind of loop, and then zoom, he's gone, shooting way back off into space. Um, now this one I did, uh, I'll turn that off for a minute. I had, I used the swinging, which is, I really like to look at this. Where first you, it's a drop, let me show you this. So first it's a drop okay. in, and then sort of a gentle swing back and forth. And I thought that it would be a fun idea to just <laughs> hang him <laughs> as long as we were here. So because- He's still smiling. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> never stop smiling. Because that is below, it's going to receive okay. wh whatever it gets affected these. by those behaviors yeah, because so they affect everything below. Correct. Okay. And so that's why the earlier stuff was in a compound clip. So you can okay. selectively build things and then add them together. Okay. Really everything kinda. underneath is affected. Yeah. And do, the, do the behaviors themselves have parameters you can some modify? Some of them do. Uh -huh. um, and uh, some of them do. Uh, that one does not. This one does. So direction the movement th is yeah and, like all, that. and some of them yeah. have a, a, l a really lot. long list of stuff you can do with them, and so you know basically like just these things are super handy for animation, super handy for animatics. They include some text stuff, um, and uh, just a few presets that you can adjust, and then off into the off sunset. Like that's great. So great tool for uh, animation previsualization. Yeah, beautiful and behaviors motionvfx.com. RippleTraining.com for training on Fonica Pro Motion, DaVinci Resolve, Compressor, et cetera, et cetera. Mike, thank you very much for coming. Appreciate you here. Thanks, Mark. See you guys next time on MacBreak Studio.